One of the hardest and coolest thing humans do is go to space. But going to space with or without humans has its own set of problems. Each country sends their own satellite. Each company sends their own satellite. What's all this gonna turn into? All this trash goes up there for what? We first have to know that sending something to space is one of the hardest thing we can do because you have to go so fast and exit the atmosphere and enter lower earth orbit. The most used orbit around earth is called low earth orbit. You might be asking, why don't they just go a little bit farther than the low earth orbit? We have to say that if you want to go farther, it's a lot harder and it's going to cost a lot more money. And that is why everybody stays in low earth orbit. There's all types of satellites, ISS, telescopes, all of them are in low earth orbit. But before all this, let's talk about the thing that takes him to space, the rocket. Most of this is cylinders filled up with fuel and the higher it goes, the more parts it lets go, so it could be lighter. Some of the parts get released in the atmosphere, but most of the parts gets released after entering lower Earth orbit. And all those parts stays in orbit and just flies around next to these satellites. And they're not good for anything. It's just useless trash traveling around Earth. Since the 1950s, when humans could travel to space, they've been filling up space with a bunch of junk. From rocket pieces, to old satellites, or even explosions that were tested in space that caused a lot of little pieces to turn even smaller. Experts say right now, there's about 2600 satellites that are no good traveling around Earth. There's about 10,000 pieces that is around one meter long. In the middle of those, there's 20,000 pieces that are the size of an orange. You thought we were done? There's 500,000 pieces that are the size of a marble. Humans love creating garbage. Look how far the dump has gone. All of this is spinning around Earth, and that's at a speed of 30,000 kilometers an hour. This speed is insane. If you're in space and you're not moving, and one of these things that are the size of a marble passes you, first of all, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's like the most modern weapon in the world that just shot next to you. It's good to know that a normal gun on Earth has a speed of 2,700 kilometers. These trash are traveling at 30,000 kilometers an hour. Some people say, who cares about the space trash? It doesn't affect us. But we have to say that the satellite that allows us to communicate with each other, like the internet, they are all spinning in the same place, a place where all this trash is located in. I wish it was just the internet, but there's a lot more than that. GPS, telescope, telephone, estimating the weather, all of those are in the lower earth orbit, a dangerous place. The big pieces of trash, there are not that many of them. The medium ones is also the same, not that many. But the marble sized ones, there's a lot of them, around 500,000. Each one of these could destroy a satellite. These marbles only cause bad things because every year, three to four satellites gets destroyed because of them. Each satellite that gets destroyed, it just adds to the collection of trash. But experts aren't worried about the marble as much. What they are really worried about is two different satellites colliding with each other. 
Just imagine two 30,000 km an hour objects hitting each other. What do you think will happen? Both of them are going to turn into powder, even smaller than the marbles. It is correct that both of them turn into powder, but scientists say if this happens, it causes a chain reaction. It's like going into an Autobahn that has ice on it, and every car is coming full speed and crashing and creating a huge mess. When satellites get destroyed like this, they basically turn into shotgun pellets and crash into other satellites. And the other ones are gonna turn into powder as well and destroy other satellites. And basically like a domino effect, it just goes on and on. You guys know that if the internet satellites get destroyed, everything is gonna be messed up on Earth. Scientists believe if two satellites hit each other, they're gonna be exponentially destroyed. Basically two hit each other, a couple weeks later four hit each other, and it just rises and rises until there's no more good satellites left. They believe that if we keep on doing this, there's gonna be so much trash around the planet that we're gonna turn planet Earth into a prison and passing all of this trash is basically gonna be impossible. You can't get in or leave. If it gets this bad, we have to say goodbye to all the satellites. Obviously the ones that are working, not the destroyed ones. Humans mess everything up, then try to look for a solution. Right now, they're really looking for a solution. The first thought that came into their mind is that to send a little probe into space, throw a net, grab the trash, and let it go into the atmosphere so it burns up. They thought about the big stuff, and the net idea seems pretty good. But the big problem is the small pieces. What are we gonna do with those? The first idea scientists say is that to create a laser weapon, send them into space, and destroy the trash with lasers. A lot of people agree with this idea because the laser weapon can work from really far distances. Either way, whatever they're gonna do, I hope they do it soon because the trash is only getting worse. Before the domino effect happens, we have to get rid of them. If we don't, they're gonna ruin everything we have in space. And it will get so bad that humans can't even think about leaving Earth. Going to Moon, Mars, or anywhere else is gonna be impossible. And anything that wants to pass, it's just gonna get destroyed. <laughs>